Hey there, it's Dan Wardrobe here from Flexible and today I want to talk to you about closing on the phone and a few tips that I've learned over the years that um, have transformed the way that we run our business and the way that we close clients and think it might be useful for those that are struggling. They've got everything on the line. They need to close this sale no matter what. Okay, there's desperation. But before I share all of this, I want to um, invite you to please subscribe to our channel because I want to really share the word about performance-based marketing um, and also there's going to be some really great content coming over the next year that I'd like to share with you guys so guys and girls so closing on the phone all right without getting too philosophical if you imagine yourself going into a bar uh, when you're single when you're in your your 20s um, or maybe even a little bit earlier at university and you see a, a, someone, a beautiful person of the opposite sex on the other side of the room. Okay, and you, you wanna head over there and start chatting to them. And um, you finally pluck up the courage to go over and you kind of stumble over your words and you're, you're bumbling. And you just know before you even kind of finish the conversation that you got not a chance in hell of getting a, a kiss off this girl or a guy because you just don't have the confidence that there's desperation in your voice and you don't feel comfortable in your own skin. The same goes for if you are trying to close a client, all right? Because if you're trying to sell something that isn't that sexy and is really, you know, you've got to force it down the person's throat for them to be able to understand the value of what you're offering, then it's, it's a similar situation. You're just going to have no chance of getting that kiss on the cheek, okay? Or that phone number. You're never going to be able to get that to work, okay? And the key is, is it doesn't matter about your tone of voice or the way that the time that you'll call or whether you've got a, a, a really amazing script that you follow. It, you know, that's, that's irrelevant. It's the offer that matters. And sometimes it can even be what you're offering dressed up a different way. All right, and I, I know this because I used to be able to sell uh, lead generation and I'd, I'd land clients and I'd try and get them to sign up to a six month contract and uh, I'd ask for minimum ad spend and um, uh, you know a fee per month to be able to get these people results. And yeah, I had some success. It was kind of like a probably a one in 20 close. Um, but the, the problem was that, you know, I wasn't very good at that. I was, I was nervous. I was, I was shy. I wasn't really good at closing and clients could, could kind of fear the desperation. Okay. And what happened after a while is I started, I pivoted and I started selling a performance based model. Okay. And as soon as I was able to sell on a performance basis, there was nothing for me to lose. Okay. Because I had 10 other conversations and clients that wanted to, wanted to buy um, uh, you know, what we're offering, which was, you know, very little risk to the client. And as soon as that happened, and as soon as I was able to detach myself from the outcome of having to close, um, and that, and that desperation left me, things started just popping like that. It was sale, sale, sale. Okay. It's almost like, um, you know, as soon as my mind went to the next phone, like, oh my goodness, this guy, I'm not sure whether I want to work with him. He sounds like could be a bit of a pain in the backside, but I'm gonna have a phone call with him anyway. It was like, boom, boom, they, they just, and the, and the next call happened. And because I had less to lose, because I didn't care, I detached myself from the outcome of that call, things changed for me forever, all right? So if you are really struggling, it's, it's kind of like um, swinging, swinging a golf club as well, okay? Um, I'm a big golfer, I love golf not very good at it but what i find myself doing is when i'm really trying hard to smash it 300 yards down the down the fairway i'm trying to hit it hard i'm, I'm holding the golf club uh tight i'm tense my body's tense and i swing and it usually sprays off to the right hand side out of bounds all right but if you relax you don't really care too much i mean obviously you care about the outcome but you just swing naturally and, and empty your mind of as many thoughts as you can, then that's when good things start start happening. It's an effortless swing and it, it cuts down the fairway right down the middle and goes fur, way further than if you're trying to hit it as hard as you can. Same goes for sales, right? So um, if you can detach yourself and empty your mind of all of those um, you know, thoughts, then things start happening. That desperation leaves and uh, things start changing for the better. All right, so if you're struggling and you're trying to sell stuff that's hard to sell, then I have a case study, a game plan, I call it, 
or I take one of, um, you know, basically I model the game plan on what happened to my student who moved from selling stuff the hard way and really struggling to close to be able to onboard as many clients as he could by changing the way that he sold, changing the offer. Um, there was, you know, when, when he started getting this dialed in, he was able to know that there was 10 other people lined up after this call that wanted to take what he was offering, which was performance-based paper lead marketing. And things changed with him like that. He went from, I think he's almost at 100K a month now, um, and his life has changed forever just because he changed his offer. The desperation left him. He didn't have to attend, attend the B&I meetings anymore. He didn't have to do all of this stuff. Things changed for him. If you want to find out more, there'll be a link below where you can watch that game plan. It's free. It's going to change the way that you sell. Okay. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.